Hey, hello everybody. Hey, my name is Ken Sagendorf, and I want to talk to you about a package I just received from Amazon, Amazon Prime. It's uh, the Futec FT568 Professional self Selfie Stick. Okay, and I'm just showing you this package. I'm going to open this right up in front of you, and we're going to talk a little bit about it and uh, why I decided to but purchase this. Um, I don't know anything about selfie sticks, but uh, I did learn a little bit by looking at some reviews online. And uh, from what I could see, this here is one of the better ones on the market. But if you look for the price, this is definitely came to me, and it came from a Lone Star Industry Group. And just a quick little talk about it. And like I said, it's the Futec. F U G E. CK, I believe it is, and it's a selfie stick, and it uh, says it's a professional grade, and it's the uh, FT568, and, you know, I'm talking about selfie sticks, everybody thinks if you're buying something that says professional, and you're going to spend a lot of money for it, um, honestly, what I spent for it, right here. $19.95. That's all I paid for it, okay? So I'm going to open this up in front of you so that way you get an idea and let you know um, that this definitely is mine and I did pay for it um, with my own money. But I'm going to open it up and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to look at it a little bit and then uh, maybe later on I'm going to, when I start playing with it on a little bit more and learn some of the features about it, we'll uh, add a little bit more to this review. So. Um, as you can see, the box is not open yet, so I'm going to open the box and get the box. Obviously, you can see, it's a big, huge box for just this one little selfie stick. And as you can see, it comes pretty nice setup here. I'm going to get the Amazon box out of the way because you don't need to see that anymore. Okay, there it is. The Fluitech FT568 Professional. It's a Bluetooth. So it does work off of Bluetooth, so it probably does need some charging and stuff. But the nice part about it is I'm just seeing it comes with a frame case. Oop, sorry about that. It comes with a couple of different uh, adapters for whatever you do with your cell phone. Or uh, it does say you can use your GoPro with it. It comes in a great looking case. And it comes with a mirror, which... <clears throat> there are some uh, reviews out there that shows you exactly what you use the mirror for. So this is kind of an accessory for it. You can actually put the mirror on the back side of your your clip, and you can actually point it out and see what you're looking at. Okay. Um, but here it is. That's it. And let's see what else we got in the box here. Um, this is just the parts here that you're going to need for your GoPro if you're going to use it on your GoPro. Okay. Um, I'm going to use mine on. Uh, my iPhone 6s. So, but let's just take a look at what's inside of here, and that way you get an idea of what you get for the 1995. Obviously, a great looking case, still packaged as you can see. Wow, so a little bit more than I expected. <clears throat> now, if you look here, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it says handle there, and the charger comes with it. Comes you comes with all the instructions you're going to need to to operate it, and here's your pad for it. Good size, low. The nice part about the remote here is if you're looking at this remote, I'll show you. It's on the selfie stick itself. Once we get it charged up, we'll be able to use it. Got all the functionality right there on the on the on the selfie stick, and I'm seeing right here. This is removable, so you can actually take it and set the selfie stick somewhere else and uh, use the remote. That's a pretty nice option there. Got the power button on the side, all your controls for it right there. Um, for adjustment adjustability, looks like it locks pretty good. Up and down there, and it's a quick little lock. Yeah, holds pretty good. Um, I don't think this would be anything you'd want to use, you know, for like a waterproof or anything, but, uh, well, that's pretty much all there is to it. You've got all the adjustments that you're going to need right here. This here is obviously the screw to lock it and unlock it. 
what I'm going to do, while I've got you here, I'm going to put the uh, adapter here. Cool. There's one of these nice adapters that screws open and close, so that's actually pretty good. Probably secure your phone or whatever you're going to put in this. Probably secure it really well. If you look, I'll show you. It screws, it screws down to open and close and tighten whatever you got. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you. I got my iPhone right here, and you can see it's in a life-proof case. This is definitely my phone, and we'll open this right up and see how secure it secures it with the phone. It looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to screw it down, tighten it down, and look at that. Holds the phone pretty good. So, looks like we made a nice little investment here for $19.95. Here's, throw that on there real quick. Give you an idea how secure it actually is going to be. And then we'll go out and start playing with it. Uh, the plastic feels a little cheap on it, though. Um, but, you know, like I said, for $19.95, I guess you can't go wrong. So I probably wouldn't want to tighten this stuff there too much. I got some nice, if you can see inside there, Everything's threaded with uh, looks like a brass or some kind of metal backup, so that's that's actually a good idea. And this adjust adjust back and forth for you on your phone, and uh, as you can see, yeah, holds the phone pretty good. So it's not a bad option there. And I'm sure this other one for for the other for other phones or everything, this is kind of well, this is spring loaded. Okay, so this one's probably not as good. Depending on it's probably not going to hold your phone as well, but you know, we'll just throw it on the front of the phone for a second and see what it does. Yeah, you know, see, it'll it'll hold the phone as well, but I don't I don't know if it'll hold it as secure as the screw on one. But hey, it's another option for you. So you, you get two different set different ways of securing your phone or camera or whatever you got. Like I said you got the setup here for the GoPro if you need it. Okay, and I was talking about the mirror part of it. I'll show you how that works. What you can do, from what I've been told, that mirror works with the spring-loaded version here. And you actually clip it on the back side of it. Just like that. Just like so. So you actually have, if we take, take our phone off of here, and we'll put the other, the, other one, the other securing device on there for you. And you can see I'm just amazed how secure that actually is on there. It's pretty good. So if you're actually going to do some underwater shots, or if you've got like a, a life proof case and you want to do some underwater shots, it's, a, it's probably a great option. Uh, there's this one here. As you can see, it's spring-loaded. And if we open the spring all the way, we'll secure that on there. Yeah, it does hold pretty good, but again, I just like the idea of having it, having it screwed down. It probably holds it a little bit more, but this seems to, seems to hold it pretty good too as well. I'm just holding just so give this a little tightness on here this way here if for some reason you want to see what you're shooting and you see what you're taking the videos of that's what the mirror is there for okay so if you want to use the front camera we'll show you how that works I'll turn that on If we're using the front camera on your selfie stick, I don't know, you can't really see that, but you can see what your video to video. Yeah, there I am right there. I'm using my iPad here to videotape this, but as you can see this way here you can, if you're using the camera using your phone in this manner, you can actually see exactly what you're videotaping with your phone. Or taking a picture of, depending on how you look at it. Um, I'm going to set this up in a minute. See how it actually works. Let me see how this mirror. Just for the heck of it, let's take the mirror off of here and see how it secures to the other. Is it on? Yeah. See, it's not going to secure on there very well. So that mirror is actually just for this this stand. Um, but you can try. It. I'm going to do is I'm going to work on setting this up. I'm going to play around with it a little bit and see how it 
hooks up to the Bluetooth. You can see again. There it is. And totally remote. I'm gonna play around a little bit more, and then I'll uh, add, add another video just so you can see how it actually functions and works. I'm gonna charge it up, get it a bit of full charge first, because uh, it does come with a charging uh, cord, as you can see. That way we can charge it up. I'll take that charging cord out of there. Comes with all the instructions you're gonna need. Everything right here looks pretty simple. Um, setting things up for you. So I'm gonna play around with this for a little while. Here's the charging cord for it. Okay. Again, that's the Hutech F568. Give it a try. Like I said, it's only $19.95. And um, thanks for watching the video. And uh, come back in a little while, and you can see the video on how to get everything set up. Thanks.